Dr. M G R Educational and Research Institute for supporting the mechanical department for first year campus to conduct this webinar during the pandemic time. Now I call upon Dr. Bindu, Department of Civil Engineering, to give a welcome to us. of mechanical department first year btec dr enjoy educational and research institute chennai i would like to extend a very warm welcome to our vice chancellor jas dr subhashri madam dean ens welcome you ma'am i take this opportunity to welcome our speaker dr divya panjanadan Senior Research Engineer at Donaldson Company, USA. Welcome you, ma'am. I extend my warm welcome to faculty members, students from various colleges, universities, and other participants to this webinar on engineering smart surfaces for anti-fouling, hydrophobicity, and draft reduction. Hope. This webinar is going to be interesting, informative, and knowledge sharing for everyone. I also thank you for taking time out for your from your schedule and joining us for this webinar. Accessing through video. Thank you, and once again, I welcome you all for this wonderful webinar. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Now we welcome. Our beloved Dean, E.S. Dr. N. S. Subhasti, uh, give you a special address. Thank you, Mr. Saravanan. Hope I'm audible to all. Yeah, ma'am. So, as mentioned, during this pandemic time, we are all connected virtually through such webinars. and good morning uh good morning all am i audible can you hear me all of you yeah ma'am yeah yes ma'am so good morning uh, welcome yeah welcome back students uh so due to the cyclonic situation in chennai for the past two days we were not able to conduct the orientation classes i think i have message uh, so today we are going to have a session and uh, those who are joined the group right now on the other day uh, monday i shared one one more number official number that is also with me i want all of you to please it will start with 7 uh, please store that number as dean e and s that number also will be with me why i changed it is previous one was my personal number uh, due to urgent situation i gave my personal number now i have brought, uh, i have uh, purchased a number exclusively for first year btech so that number you can contact any time it will be only with me so in that group i have shared the, the uh, next this today and the next week program till second right today afternoon by 4 o'clock there is one more program uh, along with the russian culture center right so that is also going to be interesting it may not be in your engineering uh, uh, this one but it will be interesting uh, those who are uh, very keen in uh, noting the politics uh, and political scenes and all i think uh, the brick submit you will be familiar with so i request all the students to join there is a registration link a google form you can join uh, register and you can view the program through youtube 
in the message i have given you two links one link is a google form the first one in that you can register put your name and all you will get a certificate of participation for that and the second link uh, the youtube link is to watch the program live okay so please do that also uh, today uh, the uh, last two day session also is uh, balanced next uh, week you are going to have two sessions per day i think the that schedule also i have uh, shared in the group those who have not joined the group i request all of you to join the group the new group already i have shared the link also okay so today we are going to have a session very interesting session very useful session for you people uh, before uh, going to the session i would like to introduce who is going to be with us today now we have uh, dr krishna kumar from usa uh, he is a uh, owner of uh, a company called instagana life and we our university especially the first year btech we have initiated a mou with them mou is memorandum of understanding uh, during your first semester they are going to offer a project based learning certificate course for you so when you complete the course it will be an online course only when you complete the course you will get a certificate okay uh, so all these comes under skill based program so for that you will have a separate orientation in december Uh, so today when i went through your branches and all many have taken uh, data science and artificial intelligence so i thought sir is going to be the apt person to talk about the recent uh, trends in artificial intelligence so i just requested sir he whole heartedly told immediately yes uh, thank you krishna kumar sir and thank you kritika madam so today they are going to just uh, give a glimpse of what is artificial intelligence and all uh, uh, the recent trends in that so i hope it will be very useful for you uh thank you sir uh, students please listen and uh, please uh, follow whatever is going on in the orientation right it is not just a orientation that is given we have planned so much and we have uh, even in a short uh, time we have planned to give you the required one not just making somebody to talk something and all uh, so it has been planned very well so please attend and please tell your friends those who have completed all the admission procedures also to join the orientation lecture because from monday you are going to have physics chemistry and all coming in how it is going to be useful for engineering and all and then entrepreneurship is there i think i have uh, already shared all the topics with you those are all very it's going to be very useful for you for the entire four years it is not just an orientation program so please uh, watch carefully and please note down everything because it is going to be very useful for you now i welcome Mr. Krishna Kumar and uh, Ms. Kritika for the session. So, welcome, sir. Thank you, madam. Uh, thank you, Dr. Shubhashi, madam. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. M. G. R. Engineering College uh, Research and Education Institute. Uh, thanks for giving us an opportunity uh, to present this uh, wonderful topic. Uh, my name is uh, Krishna Kumar Narayanan. I am based in the California Silicon Valley, California, in USA. I am joined by uh, one of our colleagues, uh, Kritika uh, Kalyan, uh, madam Kritika, uh, based out of Chennai. Uh, so we are part of an organization called IGL Instagram Alive. What we offer is we offer uh, technology and educational services to uh, colleges and institutions like uh, Dr. M. G. R. Engineering College and, and Research Institute. So we are quite happy to uh, be part of this uh, orientation session. Uh, so today, as uh, Madam indicated, uh, we'll briefly touch upon some of the current trends in in AI. And, and machine learning algorithms. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll share my presentation. Uh, please uh, go on mute if you're not on mute, so that way we can keep the background noise to a minimum. And uh, let me share my uh, short presentation. Just a moment. taking a little bit longer so please bear with me Mm 
Madam, I may need to rejoin the meeting. It's, uh, it's got stuck. Yes, sir. Okay, are you able to see my screen? Sarvananda, are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Hi, good morning. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. So, like I said, uh, we, this webinar we'll be talking about latest trends in technology. Specifically, uh, we'll be covering artificial intelligence and machine learning. Like I mentioned, my name is uh, Krishna Kumar Narayanan. I'm based in uh, California. So this sir? is our uh, yeah. Uh, sir, sir. Sir, go ahead, please. Sir, uh, our presentation is being delayed. You're not able to see the. Sir, yes, yeah, sir. We can we can able to see you, but not the PPT. We are able PPT. to see you, but not the PPT. Okay, let me just uh, turn off my camera. Yeah, yeah. Just a moment. Yes, sir. Uh, we can see now. We can see the PPT now. Okay. Let me share my entire screen. Are you able to see my presentation? No, yes, sir. Which is I, which is I G L and a bulb symbol uh, and like a cap symbol, which is setting symbol. Not visible for yes. presentation. Sir. Okay. How about now? Loading. Okay. No. Okay, sir. You're able to see? Same IGL logo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, we sir. can see the logo of IGL. You're not able to see the outline presentation? No, no, no. We, we no. are all, we are no, all no, able no, to no, see. No, sir. No, sir. No. Still, we are. Uh, it's visible, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. The logo is only visible, not the PPT. Only we can see the logo. No, sir. It's visible. Hey, just came in. How about now? Yes, sir. Now it's visible, sir. Very good. OK. Sorry about that. Please uh, go on mute if you can see everything. Then I'll go to my next slide. OK, so the outline for our presentation is uh, why do we care about artificial intelligence and machine learning? And uh, some of the background in AI and ML, how do they work, right? I think we'll take a look at that, like uh, Madam Shubhashi, Madam indicated. Uh, we will briefly introduce the uh, AI. Sir, ML. we can't see we can't see any outline. Just uh, we are seeing the logo, IGL logo. Press that no, uh, is running. pin icon, bro. Akil, press that pin icon over there. Okay, let me try that. Is it visible, sir? Okay, sir, no. okay. Uh, press that pin icon. You can wave, yeah. Okay. So anyone say your uh, suggestion? Okay. 
If it's not visible, if you go to the presentation, you click a pin icon. Okay, then you get the visible part of your presentation. Okay, then you unmute your listen. Thank you. Okay, sir. Now it's visible. Okay. Sounds good. So we will uh, talk about uh, some of the applications and use cases, uh, especially in automotive, transportation, healthcare, medical area, finance, and arts. And then we'll also touch upon some of the companies who are doing uh, great work in artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, such as Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. So we'll cover some of their products. And then last but not least, we will talk about your contribution as you're stepping into the engineering college. Uh, you're going to be taking a look at data science and AI. Uh, what can be your contribution in the field of uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning? So those are the kind of uh, topics that we will cover in the webinar today. Uh, before we go too far into the AI, uh, so recently uh, the National Education Policy 2020 from India, uh, they have endorsed AI for all the schools and colleges. As you can see here, uh, AI-based software to help the track of uh, progress of the students is an important one. AI-enabled chips are going to be very important. So as you can see, the government as well as the educational institutions are putting a lot of emphasis on artificial intelligence. So this is the reason why uh, it is very important for uh, future uh, technologies and engineers and scientists such as yours. It is important that you understand uh, the, the technology, what is the, 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 the rationale behind it, and how artificial intelligence and machine learning can be applicable to different, different industries, uh, because you will be the future for uh, applying some of these techniques to a lot of, uh, lot of uh, industries and services. So this is the reason why we believe AI and ML are going to be very important. Now we'll briefly take a look at some of the background. You see AI and ML, is it fairly new in the industry? Uh, apparently not, right? Uh, even the very first AI conference was held in 1950s. Uh, so that is the beginning of AI. Uh, but during the 60s and 70s, uh, the AI had gone through lots of ups and downs because I think a lot of industry and academics, they felt that AI can deliver everything, right? So it can act like a human being, uh, it can think like a human being. So it was too much uh, in, the, in, the, in the form of expectation from the, from the industry as well as from the academics uh, that did not follow. So this is why there was a lull period in the 1960s and 80s uh, for, the, for the AI. But towards the late 80s, it started picking up. So as a form of what are known as expert systems. Uh, so these are knowledge-based expert systems. Uh, so during my PhD thesis, uh, expert system was very popular. So the idea was to uh, create a rule-based system uh, where you can teach the computer uh, some of the rules in, in a particular field. In my case, it was um, you know, recognizing satellite images from, from the oceanographic um, images and how to predict various uh, elements in the, in the images. Uh, so that was sponsored by United States Navy. Uh, so that was the beginning of uh, uh, a rebirth of AI, so to speak. But since then, a lot of advancements have happened in the, in the AI in the form of neural networks. So the way it happened was a uh, lot of research in the brain, you know, understanding how our brain works. Uh, the brain, as you know, consists of a lot of neurons and how the neurons uh, store information, they carry information, they transmit information. So all of that research that was done in, done in human brains was transferred into or, or translated into uh, a, new, a network called neural networks in, in the computer science. So towards the late 80s, uh, the concept of neural networks started uh, taking off. And today we have artificial neural networks, convolutional neural networks. So when you go and take uh, AI courses, uh, you will probably hear more and more of these terms uh, called ANN, CNN, uh, things like that are, are beginning to happen. And now these days, uh, machine learning algorithms and deep learning. Deep learning is nothing but um, a specific uh, type of network that, is, uh, that can do many more a combination of data networks is called deep learning and data science. And uh, recently, uh, there is um, a technology called GPT-3. Uh, it is basically, uh, it has 1.75 billion uh, operations. So what that does is uh, it can talk like a human being. It can think like a human being. Uh, so this is some of the re recent activity that are happening in the, in the neural networks. Uh, so AI has come a long way uh, since 1950s. Uh, but now we are very fortunate 
uh, that you are stepping into into universities and colleges where ai is uh, becoming more a reality it is no longer a fantasy uh, it is becoming a reality not only in institutions but also in in companies so today you can do something with ai you can do something with machine learning algorithms i'll show some of the examples in my future slides but basically this slide basically gives you a background of where we have come from uh, we have come from a very simple concept of you know replicating human brain to all the way to uh, putting them in practice uh, called the neural networks okay let me go to the next slide so this is an overview slide of uh, ai and ml uh, specifically on machine learning if you if you think about it uh, it is a branch of uh, ai in computer science it is a study of computer algorithms okay that allows computers to automatically improve through experience so just like how a child learns over a period of time many fields uh, the, the the system also learns through experience uh, through algorithms and there are different types of learning that are that are available um, so for example uh, typically in ai and, and ml courses uh, the professors usually talk about supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning we'll we'll talk about that briefly in a minute uh, but there are three types of learning and uh, in our daily life uh, ml uh, machine learning algorithms are getting used for example if you use netflix if you use spotify if you use any one of these uh, cloud based services they learn uh, from the user behavior for example netflix can follow all the all the movies that you have been watching and then they can come back and give you a, a proposal or a prediction and say hey we have a new movie uh, that matches with your interest and it is available tomorrow would you like to uh, listen to that or watch that movie uh, so things like that there are many many real life uh, applications and services are are beginning to take advantage of uh, machine learning algorithms so that is very exciting for uh, for industries such as um, uh, such as computer science artificial intelligence itself is a, is a very vast scope uh, like i said applying ml model algorithms to solve real life problems uh, is nothing but any any algorithm that solves a real life problem uh, can come under the ai umbrella um, so as you can see uh, these two terms are getting uh, sometimes they get uh, used interchangeably uh, but artificial intelligence is a very large scope of uh, computer science and machine learning really talks about specific computer algorithms uh, that are needed to to solve uh, problems okay in the next slide we'll talk about uh, different types of uh, machine learning techniques uh, here what i've shown is uh, two types uh, supervised learning and unsupervised learning so the main difference between the two uh, let's say in the case of a supervised learning uh, let's say if you want to give uh, train us uh, train a computer system with birds um, so here for example we have given uh, two birds uh, two ducks and two non bird like it is it is two animals that are not birds so you teach the system uh, you recognize the images you label the images saying that this is duck the second one is the duck third the third and the fourth one are not duck that information gets fed through supervised learning and then it goes through a, a system called predictive model so once the system learned about the animals okay the, that there are two uh, animals that are birds and the two animals that are not birds now when you give a new animal that looks like a duck the predictive model will will correctly match the images and then it will it will infer and say yeah you have provided me uh, a, a, an animal which looks like a duck so this is a very simple uh, supervised learning that is used in ai and networks today it is very predictable uh, the success rate is very high because it is it is a supervised learning it is structured uh, the second type of learning is called unsupervised where you don't classify these uh, these images and you let the system uh, learn by itself so for example when you uh, feed the same five images to a system uh, in an unsupervised way uh, what it does is it does some sort of a clustering clustering means you you kind of uh, group them in a form in a way that they look similar for example in this case the system would take uh, the first two birds and the last last bird put them in the form of a bird so that is called a classification uh, uh, algorithm does and then it keeps the other two into two different buckets as you can see uh, when you present a new image uh, it is not going to give you exactly the name of the animal but it is going to say it looks somewhat similar to group number 1 or group number 2 or group number 3 so the unsupervised learning algorithms are uh, not very uh, predictable uh, that means the success rate for recognizing and predicting uh, 
uh, a new uh, object is going to be very, very low. Uh, so in general, most of the algorithms use uh, supervised learning. So when you take AI ML courses in your, in your, uh, in your degree, uh, you will learn these uh, algorithms in detail. But uh, this webinar is just to give you uh, a preview of what is, um, what is coming down the pipe for, uh, for AI and ML courses. The last algorithm is, uh, is the most interesting one. Uh, it's called reinforcement learning. Um, so the way it works is, let's say you have an agent that is nothing but your computer or, a, or an AI algorithm. Uh, it try, tries to learn from the environment. Okay, so the classic example that I give is uh, a three-year-old uh, toddler uh, is like an agent and, they, and the toddler is in the home uh, looking at all the various things and, and then provide the information to, to the agent, uh, the environment. It learns from the agent some state information. And when the agent does some action, the environment comes back with the feedback or what are known as the rewards. So the agent, what it does is it not only learns from the environment through state, it also learns from its action. So just like a, a three-year-old, if, uh, if the three-year-old is very cranky, uh, the parent would, uh, would try to convince them or try to pamper them down. So that information uh, is fed through an action and a reward. So this is how a child learns that one needs to be quiet in a house. So a classic uh, reinforcement algorithm or a learning technique uh, would, uh, would be an agent uh, that will understand the state of the environment and based on its action, it will read from the reward and then it keeps learning. So the agent constantly learns from the environment and takes, takes action based on the state and the reward. So another example is computer games, right? If uh, you would have heard uh, computer games working with, uh, you know, playing with, uh, with humans. And sometimes computer games have uh, beaten humans. All of them are based on uh, reinforcement learning. For example, in this case, is a computer game. Uh, it tries to make a move, and it learns from the move, and it also knows the environment of the, of the, of the game. So that's another example of how uh, uh, reinforcement learning is applied in, in a computer game. So as you can see, there are three uh, learning techniques that we just saw, of supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. So these are the three fundamental uh, learning techniques that are used in, in artificial intelligence and, and machine learning. Of course, as you go take more courses, uh, there'll be a lot more examples and uh, real life examples of where they are getting used and, and then you will learn the more. But this is a very fascinating uh, field uh, today uh, of uh, learning about AI and, and then apply them. Some more concepts on AI. So uh, in terms of uh, when you take a course, you will hear about intelligent agents. Intelligent agents are nothing but uh, it, it can be a software or a hardware. Uh, it correctly interpreted external data. So, so here is an example of, of a network where uh, it is like, by the way, this is based upon uh, human brain research where uh, we all have neurons in our brain and we have uh, input neurons and output neurons. And then there are called hidden neurons that stores information and transmit uh, information among among each other and and or to the output uh, uh, neurons so in this case for example uh, in our brain uh, the input neurons collect the data it can be visual data it could be auditory data uh, it could be sensory data anything that comes in the input neuron uh, gets converted into energy and gets stored in the hidden uh, neurons and then when you want to do some action uh, those neurons transmit information to the output neuron that makes that tells signals to various organs in our body and say you know do this action whether it is walking or talking playing anything so that is the fundamental uh, concept of how neurons work in our brain so what uh, computer scientists have done uh, they have simulated or created a network that looks very similar to our brain and uh, so these are uh, known as uh, ann or artificial neural networks uh, the, again, a lot of these techniques are based on pure uh, theoretical mathematics. If you're done, uh, you know, statistical analysis and numerical analysis, a lot of these algorithms are based on those probability theory and, and, and uh, statistical analysis. Uh, so a lot of mathematics involved in, 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 in computing these values uh, in, the compute, in, the, in the artificial neural networks. Um, so basically, uh, think of this as uh, a mini brain uh, in, inside the computer. And uh, this is a very simplistic view of uh, neural networks. Uh, these days, there are very complex. So there are multi-dimensional uh, neural networks involved uh, for deep learning. Uh, but what we're giving you right now is just a preview 
uh, of what a neural network uh, looks like and each one of them uh, they learn from the from the from the previous experience and then they start adapting to the environment okay uh, what are some of the applications and use cases right uh, you can do all this ai uh, neural networks but if they are not used uh, anywhere then then it is not uh, quite useful so uh, some of the areas that uh, that i see today uh, automotive and transportation you all would have seen autonomous cars self parking cars today in the in the in the modern cars uh, you don't need to drive you just need to uh, tesla for example is an example car in us where uh, all you need to do is put it in the autonomous mode and 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 the car figures out from the 360 degree view Uh, what are all the objects and then it tries to interpret the the environment and all of them is done through ai uh, so that's one example uh, drones for surveillance for example uh, let's say if you have a cyclone that is uh, coming in uh, you don't want to send a, a man an aircraft that is manned by somebody you may want to send a drone uh, to to survey the uh, to survey the cyclone um, or contactless deliverables for example amazon uh, these days uh, because of the, all the pandemic Uh, they don't want to send uh, uh, drivers to 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 the delivery uh, they use drones so they program the address in the drone and the package and then it goes and delivers to to a particular uh, home so all of that is possible through through ai uh, so that's on the automotive transportation uh, healthcare and medical uh, computer aided interpretation of medical images a uh, very very uh, typical use case let's say uh, if you have if, if a doctor has collected um, an mri or or a cat scan of uh, of a bunch of uh, patients uh, they can do statistical analysis on top of them and say you know 20% of these students or or the or the uh, the community members have this particular problem and all of that intelligence is 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 uh, enabled through through ai and uh, like i said uh, tons of medical records can be uh, can be mined and all of them uh, are using ai ml algorithms in the finance uh, economics area uh, stock market is a is a classic example where uh, they call it algorithmic trading uh, it makes millions of stock trading uh, which is not possible through a human being um, so ai is playing a major role in in the stock market uh, likewise uh, you know optimizing your spending and savings uh, for personal finance is another example of where uh, ai and ml gets used in uh, in, in that industry Uh, last but not least art and music uh, i've read in somewhere uh, some of the universities for example cornell in in, in new york uh, they are specializing on uh, computer generated music um, so what they do is they uh, they feed in millions of uh, already composed uh, uh, music audio clips and the system learns from it and then it creates its own brand new composition uh, so this computer generated music composition is going to be the Uh, is going to be the future so if you are interested in uh, ai and computer science and if you have um, uh, music as a hobby uh, this could be a great place to start your research uh, and there are many many uh, universities and and companies are doing wonderful research in terms of how to help this uh, art industry uh, or the community for uh, using ai and ml so these are just some of the examples but the way i see it is uh, because of the way uh, the current trend Uh, for ai and ml is since it is getting offered in in all the universities and academics is quite heavily heavily involved uh, there will be many 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 industries that are going to be enabled uh, by AI, ai and artificial intelligence and the machine learning so so i think it's very exciting uh, so what we are what we are just starting out is just the beginning of uh, of this technology uh, based upon your your uh, interest and experience uh, you can really do wonderful things using uh, using ai and ml whether you are a civil engineer a mechanical engineer uh, or you are a financial analyst it doesn't matter what area that you are going to go in uh, ai and ml is going to play a very major role in the in the coming years now what are some of the key players in ai and ml right i already talked about uh, uh, the three large companies google amazon and microsoft uh, they are heavily uh, investing heavily in ai and ml they already have products uh, for example you can go to google Uh, they have a product called tensorflow um, so if you're really interested in uh, in ai i highly recommend that you can go to tensorflow.org uh, it is an ai ml uh, framework from google it is open source you don't need to pay anything to anybody 
Uh, it is an ecosystem of tools and libraries. What they've done is they have simplified the, the, the machine learning algorithms. Um, so you can really uh, start doing uh, simple uh, applications using AI and ML, and you can play with it. So you get an idea of how to how the AI and ML works for, for you. And these are used by big companies like Airbnb, eBay, Dropbox. Uh, they're all some of the company that use TensorFlow uh, algorithms uh, that is that is uh, provided by Google. So Google is certainly a leader in, in AI and ML as far as the, uh, the, the products are concerned. Uh, Amazon has a product called uh, SageMaker Neo. Uh, it is a machine learning algorithms for, for engineers and developers. And uh, there are many other companies that use the same thing. Um, so Amazon is certainly uh, interested in, in, in improving their AI ML products. And a lot of companies use that. Uh, last but not least, Microsoft. Uh, they have a product called Cognitive Toolkit, uh, CNTK. Uh, it, uh, it also allows you to do deep learning framework. Uh, they have their own descriptive language called BrainScript. And of course, they are used in their own product, Bing and, and Skype. Uh, these are Microsoft products that, uh, that use the, the cognitive uh, toolkit from Microsoft. So like I said, uh, if you're interested in learning more about um, uh, AI and ML uh, techniques, uh, products out there, if you want to play with it, if you have a computer, you can download the TensorFlow uh, applications and you can play with them. Uh, these are the three companies uh, I would recommend that you you go check them out. Of course, there are many, many uh, colleges and universities offer uh, AI and ML courses that uses some of them, if not all of them. OK, now we learned about AI. We learned about AI ML. What are the techniques? Now, what can you do? Right? I think uh, as, a, as a young engineer coming into a college, uh, what can be your contribution? Uh, so I put them in three uh, categories. Uh, so first category is uh, some of you could be very well, uh, could be very good in, 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 in mathematics, right? Uh, so in fact, most of you could be uh, very good in mathematics. If you are good in theoretical computer science, theoretical uh, mathematics, then uh, you could be getting into writing the algorithms or writing the AI models. Uh, in fact, a lot of the companies, uh, you know, Google, Facebook, and, and, and Apple, those companies, they hire uh, theoretical computer science engineers uh, who are like the backbone of AI and ML. Uh, they are the ones who go build uh, the next generation AI models, uh, next generation ML algorithms. So if you are in that category, uh, I would highly encourage you to take uh, courses in your college uh, using theoretical computer science and, 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 uh, and uh, develop your own algorithms. Uh, so that's, that's certainly the, these are called the AI scientists, so, so to speak. The second category is applications. So if you are a civil engineer, mechanical engineer, uh, aeronautics engineer, you want to apply AI, uh, then, then you will be in this category of AI engineers. Uh, so the first one is AI scientists. The second one is AI engineers uh, who take these models and algorithms, apply them to different fields, right? whether it is um, construction, whether it is uh, engineering, mechanical engineering, uh, or chemical engineering. It doesn't matter what field you are in. You can take those models and apply them in your field, and then you come up with smart use of these models. So that's the AI engineer uh, contribution that you could do. Uh, last one, if you're if you're an electrical engineer, if you're a hardware engineer, uh, you want to do more on the on the hardware side, uh, there is room for you as well. Uh, today, uh, AI is getting embedded inside the chipsets, uh, the, the 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 integrated circuits inside the computer. Uh, so there are hardware assisted uh, AI algorithms. AI-enabled chips. So, so definitely, if you're interested in, uh, in, uh, in, in your electrical engineering or electronics as a major, uh, then you could, uh, you could consider uh, building AI-enabled uh, chips uh, as, a, as an example. So the bottom line is you have, um, uh, you have more and more opportunity, whether you're a mathematician, whether you're an engineer or a, or a hardware engineer, you should be able to uh, leverage uh, these models and, and make a contribution to, to AI. Uh, here at IGL, uh, as uh, Madam mentioned, uh, we offer um, uh, projects in, in AI. Uh, so we offer, uh, for, for example, we offer uh, projects in AI-based applications. We offer chatbots. Uh, you can build chatbot for, um, uh, for Facebook, for Microsoft Teams, uh, so that are all enabled through, uh, through, through AI. Uh, for example, somebody has developed a chatbot for, for the college. Um, so you will see one of the applications of AI is uh, it's a chatbot. 
uh, chatbot is nothing but a software robot uh, that that listens to your queries and and answer answer your questions um, so those are the uh, various things that uh, we can do so uh, we'll 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 talk to you more about uh, if you're interested uh, some of the project based learning courses that madam talked about uh, as well as some 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 additional certificate courses as well but specifically for ai uh, we have a number of projects that uh, that can also help you last but not least here is the references i'll share this slide with uh, madam uh, so so most of them come from the from the internet some uh, some references to ai references to machine learning and what are some of the open source ai framework that are available and so on so that concludes my brief overview of uh, uh, current trends in, um, in in ai and ml uh, now i'll open it up to any questions you may have let me see i saw a few questions in the chat window let me bring up the chat window see if there is anything in there okay any questions um somebody said tesla so was there a question or uh, or a response <laughs> please go ahead if you want to ask a question please unmute and ask a question good morning sir good morning sir i wanted to ask that uh, will we get, will we be certif uh, certificated if we uh, go through the references sir yes i think madam talked about uh, getting you a certificate once you complete the webinar uh, please uh, talk to uh, sarunan sir or or madam in the college you'll be able to do that um, yes any other questions on the ai ml if you have, if you have a question please unmute and and ask do the google assistance is an uh... A M A. Very good question. Very good question. Google Assistant is powered by AI and ML. Uh, as you know, uh, Google Assistant, uh, though it is a small device, uh, it can be on your uh, phone, it can be on your computer, uh, it can be a device, uh, but it is all powered by an AI ML uh, in the cloud. So, so that's a very good question, Akil. Uh, it is. Um, Uh, it is an ai uh, ml enabled um, service from from google and uh, microsoft has a similar thing called cortana you might have heard about it uh, if you have windows 10 uh, cortana is uh, is an assistant that is also powered by uh, microsoft ai uh, so amazon has got that alexa you would have heard about alexa uh, so that is also a device uh, though it is very small it is powered by an ai uh, ml service in the cloud um so yeah they're all um, uh, quite powerful and they keep improving their their intelligence uh, their ai ml networks in the background very good question yes that is that is a example of an ai ml uh, system any other questions yes sir sir can yes. we make jagwis could you please repeat sir uh, is it possible to make an artificial brain like jarvis which is used in uh, hollywood movie avengers okay. sir yeah so definitely i think if you think about it right the hollywood movies uh, they dream and then uh, the the responsibility of uh, you and i right the engineers and scientists is to make it reality uh, yeah i think one of these days uh, you will see uh, an example of those uh, characters becoming real uh, yes uh, clearly the the you can also check it out in, in google uh, please uh, look for gpt3 gpt-3 uh it is a very powerful uh, ai ml uh, algorithm based system uh, that uh, behaves like a human so so it is possible to create those characters that all the uh, the hollywood stars have, have have only dreamed of and with the ai ml it is it is possible to do it might take time uh, but but definitely uh, one day uh, some day all those things will become reality any other question yeah great questions uh, you guys are really excited about uh, the topic <laughs> any other questions please unmute and ask 
Amazon also use here. Yes, Amazon. Uh, if you take, for example, uh, so Amazon. Use it AI. Yes, they use AI a lot. Uh, Amazon, uh, for example, when you go through shopping, uh, they understand all of your um, uh, shopping needs and they feed it through an AI system that can start predicting. Like, for example, uh, if you have been buying a certain type of uh, clothes uh, for a long time, uh, then if there is any particular discount on, on, on that particular cloth, then they can send you a notification saying that, hey, uh, there is a new uh, cloth uh, that you might like uh, is coming on sale. So all of that is, is, is driven by uh, an AI ML system uh, from, from Amazon. Yes. Sir, yes. is it possible to make sixth sense uh, te uh, technology by AI, sir? That is that is a very difficult question, uh, Blasan. So, uh, so far, what we have done is um, uh, it is very difficult to reproduce what our brain does. Uh, I think uh, we can only, as you know, right? In our brain, we are using only one percent of the brain's capability. Uh, our brain is the most uh, sophisticated computer in the in the entire universe. Uh, so the the AI algorithms and the systems they are trying to mimic very very fraction of what our brain is uh, capable of doing. Um, so, so I think they are trying. GPT-3 uh, is the closest I can think of. Uh, it, can, uh, it, can, it can predict, it can, it can think, uh, it, can, uh, uh, it can do very close to what you're thinking. But coming to the sixth cent, I, I'm not sure. I think we are probably quite far away from that. Sir, uh, aren't there any design drivers of AI, sir? Like if someone uses it to hack someone like that. <laughs> Excellent question, uh, Samullah Khan. I think uh, you are sir. right on. Uh, so if you go to GPT-3, uh, many uh, companies are really uh, scared because if, if, there is a, if there is a system that acts like a human being, uh, of course, there are benefits, but people can also misuse, right? Uh, so people can uh, can provide some uh, incorrect information, illegal information. Uh, so it is possible, uh, it, like any technology, right? I mean, uh, anytime there is a new uh, technology, people will try to misuse. There are advantages and disadvantages. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So even even if you take uh, you know uh, arms and and you take any any uh, even atom bomb, right? It was a great discovery for for the for the mankind, but uh, it was also used for destruction, right? So, so there is always going to be uh, in any technology and science innovation. Uh, there will be a positive side. There will be a negative side. I hope uh, the the large community in the world uh, uses it for the for good things, not for the bad things. But uh, you are right. Uh, some people may try to use it for the bad thing as well. Yeah. Excellent. Sir, what, what is Neuralink? Sir, sir, what yeah. is Neuralink? Yeah, yeah. What is Neuralink? New, Neuralink, uh, it is, um, it's basically a product that is based on, uh, uh, based on the, on the, on the neurons. Uh, it is still upcoming in the, in the industry. Um, I would say uh, nothing more than that. Yeah. Sir, do AI results in the human extinction? Repeat that question again. Do AI could result in a human extinction. Extinction, uh, those are all very, um, uh, just like uh, can atom bomb destroy the entire universe? So those are all philosophical questions. Uh, I, I don't know the answer to that yet. We don't know. So it might take an unprepared uh, human race uh, by surprise by the AI. Yeah, it's possible. So what is the main purpose of uh, AI and ML, sir? Uh, the main purpose is to, uh, is to enable different uh, fields in, the, uh, in, in science and technology uh, to help the mankind uh, to do things better and uh, smarter. Uh, because computers, like computers, have been uh, used so far to do mundane tasks, right? Computers can, yes, uh, can, yeah, yeah. can, can, can repetitively do things, but the AI uh, takes the computer to the next level and uh, to make sure that it is not only 
uh, doing what it is being told but it can also do something on its own it can learn um, so it's like your personal assistant right so you yeah. can think of think of uh, each one of them each one of the fields uh, can have uh, a personal assistant that it can do by its right. own learn by its own um, so that's the in the in the larger sense the purpose of ai ml is to help the uh, help the humanity sir but there is there go ahead was there a question so what you said is absolutely correct the ai is programmed to something beneficial but uh, it develops a destructive method to achieve its goals sir sir so through ai we yeah, only can went into yeah. the brain say it again through ai we mm -hmm. can make a human brain no it's not i don't think it is it has come that far like i said human brain is uh, so sophisticated and complex uh, we are uh, we are no way near to mimicking uh, what a human brain is what we have done so far is based on first of all human brain even in the brain research we have not uncovered everything what a human brain can do right uh, the human brain research itself is incomplete and uh, so we are trying to take a very small percentage of what we learned from the brain research and try to implement them in 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 the computers so so i think um, it'll be several uh, decades so i'm not even sure whether we'll ever be able to uh, develop a human brain using uh, using computers now sir except google microsoft and amazon uh -huh. there are any ka ka companies on ai yes a lot of them are using ai so so google amazon and microsoft they they produce the ai um, uh, ml algorithms uh, so for example i think uh, uh, subramani you had a question on neuralink that is a, that's a company formed by elon musk um, so so there are companies who who provide um, uh, ai uh, ml solutions uh, in, in in fact if you think about it just about every company large company is into ai whether it is ibm sap oracle uh, they are all into bringing the all the research and development done in ai bring it into their products um, so in that sense uh, like i said the, the the google amazon and microsoft uh, they are the ai scientist companies they they make the ai models and all the other companies are using them uh, so that's the way i would characterize it excuse me sir yes please can feeling be developed in a machine sir can what can feelings be developed in a machine sir uh, there is no such thing i think uh, what we know is if we can if we can study the feeling in the form of uh, how the neurons uh, store information how they transmit information if we can characterize the feeling in the form of uh, in the form of uh, how the neurons behave if we can characterize this in the form of a mathematical model yes it is possible to uh to to mimic the feeling uh, inside a computer i think um, there are few uh, computer that were developed where uh, it can understand the feeling of uh, uh, of you and then when you say something it 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 can it can understand the feeling and all of that is possible only when you can characterize uh, in a mathematical way because at the end of the day computers can do only numbers right so so the fundamental question to ask is can i translate a feeling into a bunch of mathematical equations if you do that yes you can you can make the computer feel but the challenge is always in uh, in, in in connecting the dots from a feeling to a mathematical equation <laughs> that's where the, uh, the 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 mathematical uh, experts come in sir <laughs> satellite tv is based on ai satellite tv no satellite tv is based on telecommunication uh, so those are typical uh, they are based on electromagnetic uh, radiation and waves so they they are based on the communication technology uh, you know it's not based on ai sir in a group of 100 members uh, Excuse 10 me, members sir. developed an ai uh, software or uh, a some mechanics uh, that then will get the food and economy something but uh, the ai do 
work instead of the humans what about the remaining 90 students say it again uh, i didn't understand your question uh, kill could you please repeat sir uh, if ai comes the human uh, do not needed to work no it, no uh, there's no there's no such thing okay so just like how when computers were introduced in the 1980s a lot of people were worried that uh, all the jobs will be gone right uh, that was not the case so so just like sir, ai but the computer is the thing which you, uh, which is operated by humans but uh, mm-hmm. ai is a part different from that it will operate mm-hmm. itself uh, then uh, what we have to do yeah so you need to you need to bound it in such a way that it is not going to be uh, taking over a mankind i think that is going to be the uh, the the condition uh, that all the governments will will impose on on the ai research uh, computers can be there ai can help in a way that it can enable industries but it will never be used for any destructive use i think that that's that's something that um, uh, the the companies as well as the government will ensure uh, need to ensure that it doesn't cross that line sir great yeah excuse me sir sure uh, sir will it be beneficial if we uh, instead of humans if we send an uh, robot with an artificial intelligence to space sir? so uh, the thing is yeah. that if if they go to the space and do research then uh, i think there will be lack of some uh, information or something so what do you think sir will it be beneficial For it's already there right when if you, if you think about it there were so many unmanned uh, spacecraft that uh, come the countries have sent right before they sent a man or a woman to 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 space the the initial uh, spaceships were all unmanned right so they sent uh, uh, computers and robots uh, you would have seen some of the uh, cases where uh, robotic um, uh, robot was on the space it was fixing some issues with the with the satellite so all these things are already happening um, so but the, the, the but the excitement part was to send a human being to the space uh, because no matter how uh, powerful the 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 computer system is they cannot replace a human being yeah sir what is the most popular programming language used in ai sir ah that's another fantastic question mahesh so ai uh, it's um uh, it's generally uh, it's platform independent language independent uh, there are uh, for example the google uh, tensorflow uh, it really depends on which uh, platform you want to run this on if you want to run it on uh, pcs then uh, you can do it in python you can do it in java you can do it in javascript uh, you can do it in um, in c c++ uh it it really uh, is not uh, tied down to a particular language which is a great thing um so so you can choose your platform your programming language of choice uh, all the companies have made sure that uh, they have multiple versions of the uh, ai ml algorithms or libraries for for any language but if you know any one of these languages popular languages Uh, whether it is java javascript python c uh, you should be good yeah okay i think uh, hopefully that uh, covers lot of the questions of course this is not sir, the only forum yeah go ahead sir uh, can you suggest us some online uh, websites which will uh, help us to uh, means which will certify us for uh, doing that course sir? yes i think uh, we will send it to madam uh shubhashi madam and and then you will be get it from her from her uh, through the whatsapp group okay okay sir thank you all uh, sarvanan sir are we good for that for today's webinar thank you sir thank you sir thank, thank you, you very sir. much all of you thank you sir thank you sir fine thank you sir thank you I love the painting behind you, sir. Ah, great! <laughs> That's my uh, alma mater, Indian Science, Bangalore. <laughs> Thank you. Bye now. Hello.
Sir, sir, can wind up, sir? Wind up, man. <laughs> 